Morgan Webb, what are you hey. doing here in this set in the middle of the forest? You told me to be here. I did. I did actually. You even provided me my requirement, which is processed meat products. This oh, is yeah. your writer? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, no. You have Morgan Webb. It's like meat. <laughs> Morgan Webb, some meat. I walked in, I was like, mediocre effort, but they did comply with the yeah, letter of the exactly law. Right. So is there, here so I am. Is it a situation? Is it like on Uber? Like, is there like a five star rating that you can give? So far, you're at three. Okay. Wow. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Here's what I'm going to offer. Okay. I'm going to offer. Uh, deeply, profoundly mediocre magic skills. Awesome. Um, <laughs> so obviously the scenario we've created here, I mean, it might look superficially like it's like a 1v1 sort of situation. It looks okay. like I'm playing Morgan at magic. Yeah. That's what, indeed, indeed. And I, I created that situation exactly for okay. that purpose. But what's actually happening is that you and I are going to collaborate at a hundred percent level. Okay. Um, to crush this man. Awesome. And I don't understand how that's the, fair to me. The optimal scenario okay. here for me is he is defeated in spirit, mm -hmm. and then I defeat him in body, and then whoop, right in there. Awesome. I'm, I'm right here, I heard all of it. Yeah. That's a good plan. Do you consider what you've set up here to be a friendly game? Deeply. Hmm. For us. Yeah. Right, okay. For us, you are like a, you're like down in the list like of people, like at the end, like when they show the credits, it'll be yeah. like, Opponent, Mike Krahulik. Mike Krahulik. Got it. It won't be like Mike Krahulik <laughs> as Mike Krahulik. It will be just opponent. opponent. Yeah. The whole thing enemy. is sort of like yeah, exactly. If enemy, no enemy <laughs> number, number one. one. Okay. <laughs> enemy number one. Um, but we know the basics, I think. Yeah. Um, Are you a pro? Are you like a no. pro tour player? A shark? No. 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 Okay. I'm really not. Uh, I play very casually. So. Good. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the only way that I know how to play. Okay. I right. play with my children. Okay, That's really about it. Uh, so, do we battle now? Is that how? Oh this yeah, works? definitely. Yeah. yeah, we yes, we you battle me. This yes. side versus this side. So you're just gonna look at her cards and help. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And I'm gonna point at them and I'm gonna laugh. But if it's a good card, and we have enough mana, I'm gonna be like, wow. like that. Great. I'm really excited. This should be really fun. So I'm gonna play Steam Vents, which is a land, but it enters tapped on the first turn. Okay. It's a very special land. Um, yes. Because it'll give you red and blue. Or blue. Great. Yep. Sounds awesome. Is it my turn? Yes. yes. All right. I'm gonna draw a card. I summon the Annihilator. I'm gonna play a land. I got a swamp. Nice. I'm gonna tap it. And I'm gonna play Stitcher's Supplier. Uh, when Stitcher Supplier enters the battlefield or dies, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Oh, now you say, or dies? Why would you do that? I know exactly why. So you get, so you bring this fucker out, and it's like six cards go to your graveyard. Yeah. Well, he's still out. Oh, he's a no. one one. All right. Okay. okay. Well, it's a strong start. And it's I pass. I pass. It's a There's strong. There's a root down here. That I might be married to now. <laughs> I feel like I feel like my wife needs to hear about this. Uh, I have <clears throat> placed a glow spore shaman. Mm -hmm. what's, 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 shaman. What's their deal? Shaman. No, no, it's the glow spore shamwow. I've <laughs> placed the glow spore shamwow. Shamwow. I, we probably can't say shamwow on here. Uh, you know he died. The shamwow. The yeah, shamwow guy. 3-1. Uh -huh. uh, dude, dude, press F. You know and I mean? when he came in, I was able to put some stuff in my graveyard. Uh -huh. Okay, I think the tree is actually growing. Like, it's, while we play. It's being nourished yeah. somehow? Yeah. Yeah, it, there's <laughs> movement. <laughs> what is this? You ever heard? Yeah. What is this new horror? This is my boy. This is the Goblin Electromancer. So, instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. Oh, you're starting to see that. You're starting yeah. to see the devious nature. Okay, so spells you cast cost one less, mm -hmm. and every time you do it, I get hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am complete. That's what my son always asks me because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know. And he'll, Dad, are you done? Are you complete? <laughs> yeah, I'm complete. Yeah, I'm whole. A whole person. I've I'm, been made whole. I have self-actualized. I'm real, son. <laughs> uh, all right, this is going to be a good turn, I think, for me. I'm just going to drop. A Golgari Guildgate, like you do, mm -hmm. he comes in tapped. 
G, G, G. Yeah. I'm gonna tap one swamp, and I'm gonna play a hired poisoner. Mm, has death touch. Does have death touch. I don't like that at all. And I am going to attack for three, four. I'm gonna attack for four. Who's this guy? He's Who's a little buddy. Now? He's a friend. He's a goblin shaman friend. Yeah. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, gutter snipe deals two damage to each opponent. That's you, by the way. You're the opponent. Right. Okay. Yeah. So every time, don't I touch cast... me. Don't touch my skin. <laughs> That's so gross. I don't. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. The tree's a little jealous. But... I don't like being touched <laughs> you, by you. You, you. you might feel something yeah. from the bark. But I have a question for you. For me? Yeah. Are we like friends now again? No. Oh. Do you think that, have you ever had a zinger? Yes, I've had zingers. Do you think that zingers are just repurposed like Duraflame Lux? Like, do you think it's like <laughs> a it's like a sweet sawdust candle? I think it is, yeah, with, with a sort of waxy frosting. Yeah, I'm more playing, of a sheen. I'm, I'm playing I'm not sure if it's, oh, sorry. <laughs> tomb, and I'm going to pay two life. Oh, mm. to get it into play right away. To make it count right now. I am then going to tap three, and I'm going to play murder. Oh no! Murder! Oh, oh no! <laughs> and I'm murdering the that guy. All right. Well. Okay. Uh, and oh, then. Fine. I like that one. Dude, it was a great wall. I know. I am and going to like hit Stargate. for five. Face. I'm just going. You're going in. The only, the only question is, uh, which of these creatures over here do we, which, which creature do we want to be alive at the end of it? Which one do we like the best? I think we should keep both of them. Really? Just, just, just get bit. Well, we just, just get bit. Are you gonna take the... it all? No. Face. Because that one's one one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'll take that one. Okay. Okay, that's good. Then I'm going to put the top three cards of my library into my graveyard. <sighs> It's getting thick. It's getting rich. He's, he's got a loaf I do. of some you know, kind over there's, here. There's Back cards stack. in there where he gets plus one for every card in his graveyard. No, yep. oh, I know. Yeah, he knows that too. He's he, he's very excited. So now the only question is, not as excited as this tree. Yeah. So <laughs> do we do we get rid of this? There's a little poke coming through. <laughs> do we do we just get rid no, of this three? This is like our only attack strategy. I, I like him a lot, but I don't want but not enough to die for him. I mean, the problem is that we're gonna die, like he's gonna get those massive spells, we're gonna die in one turn. Yeah. So death, this little, death like, might be small, a blessing in that case. <laughs> <might be> a <laughs> blessing. This small two points of damage, three points of damage, I feel like in the end, it's not gonna matter. Okay, no, I'm, I'm with you. Oh no, but then, mm, It's still but cool. But then we're not gonna get the, we're not gonna get this. Uh, well here, so I'm gonna ask you, mm -hmm. uh, tree wizard. <laughs> um, <laughs> You can get a camera on Tree Wizard. Um, <laughs> we still get the benefits of the of the text on here, whether they're tapped. Yep. Yeah. So mm. yeah. So we can do whatever mm. we, we can do whatever we want. So, in fact, it makes all those way cheaper. We need to be we need to be thinking about this. Like those are actually way cheap. They fucking free. All right. Let's attack. Yeah. Get them. So you're going two mm -hmm. to my face. Yeah. So these are four to face. Yeah. I want you to eat re, these re, cards. Re, re, re. Okay. <clears throat> I've taken it. All right, thank you. I'm gonna tap four. And I'm gonna play Rhizome Lurcher. <gasps> Is that no! a, dude, uh, I've heard about this Lurcher. Now the Rhizome Lurcher comes into play with a number of counters on it equal to the number of creature cards in my graveyard. This was this was the this was the This was the day that, we, that our, our mothers told one, us about. Yes. Two. Mama said there'd be days three, like this. Four. Five. He is a seven seven. That, and very angry. Yes. He's he's, he's lurching. Yeah. Uh, you have a whole lot of mana untapped. Yes, I do. Maybe too much. Maybe too much mana. I think it, it's just because I like the way it looks when it's like this. Mm. Oh, yeah. So I just felt like we wanted to keep it all No, we have straight. sort of like a Thomas Kincaid thing going over yeah. here. Yeah. Like for us, it's, it's about the it's natural beauty. Attractive, yeah. It's more like Bob Ross. <clears throat> well, yeah. yeah. He's not the painter of light? Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
go uh, ahead. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm complete. <laughs> I'm complete. I wish we had more lands, though. I feel the same way. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's an energy yeah, crisis. Yeah, it really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we have an energy crisis. To have the power of two minds going against one foe. Well, the, the power of two minds going against one foe and yet restrained. Yeah, by mana. It must really suck. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. This one. I heard a voice. Tree wizard. From the tree. I'm intimately familiar with now. Uh, seriously, like I'm gonna have to call a hotline. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go three, no. Death touch. I Death hit touch. For one. So I'm hitting for seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Uh, so we will tap, we will cast Sonic Assault. What does that do? So this is this, plus that's free. So we're gonna tap the Fine Broker. You force it to tap? Yeah. yeah okay. Um, and you take two damage. Okay. And you take another two damage. Okay. And then this goes in here. No, 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 no. No? No, no, yes, yes, no, oh, yeah. no, no, it yeah. does. No, no, listen to this. Yeah, no, no, I know. This is fucked. Oh, really excited. You guys seem really excited. Yeah. This is amazing. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. uh, now now you have but to finish the game. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Well played. God damn. I'm not shaking your hand. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> listen. He, he been... shook your hand by the transitive property because you no, shook my no, hand. It's not I, I shook oh, your I hand. <laughs> no, then, no. Then, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, happened. I only shook your hand. Okay, so that was really neat. That yes. was pretty good. My experience was amazing because I totally won. All by myself. No, I'm just kidding. It's not all by myself. I, I had hope. I had a great experience. I had a fantastic experience until I lost. My favorite part was definitely the part where I won. That was the best part. Where I um, destroyed my opponent mercilessly um, and with extreme abandon. I visualized a scenario where I won. What happened after that? Like, when reality slapped me in the face. Well, no, no, I don't mean what actually happened. I mean, in that situation, when you thought that victory was at hand. Well, I saw a scenario where, because yeah. that thing went back into my hand. Yeah, yeah. Were, were you seeing like a like a new hope thing? Where yeah, it was, was going to be a like, metal ceremony? Yeah, I was going to play it. I was going to hit for like eight, and you guys were going to die. <laughs> and, then, and then all these people were going to clap. Most of my previous experiences playing Magic were me playing Magic uh, kind of a long time ago. I don't believe that I actually played with the real rules. I think I might have played with made up rules, um, but I've been playing recently pretty casually. Um, so at first it was a little bit intimidating, but then it turned out to be a lot of fun. Uh, I always lose. This is 100% magic for me. Well, I mean, really the way that it goes now is you can play magic against a 12 year old like your son, 13 year old, yeah, and lose, yeah, or you can go on to like Call of Duty and lose to 13 year olds there as well. Yeah, losing like, to children is basically my job now. Yeah, that's more or less that's more or less what it is to game in the decrepit shells um, that that we remain in. Point: It's not about winning; it's about having the conversation and about enjoying yourself. Even though I did win, did I mention that? I was sitting on that tree root the whole time and. I'm changed. Uh, like, I, do, you, do you think you, do you think you'll come back to this tree? I think tree? I'll come back to this park, to this tree, for years. I'm gonna bring my children to this tree. And there's some of their new mother.